Minecraft speedrunners vs. 10 hunters what to write A lot of Minecraft content creators have transformed the way we view the game. Watching Minecraft videos is a great pastime for many and quality Minecraft YouTubers come up with witty ideas. Hey guys, welcome back to Mind Flood, and today we'll be taking a look at Minecraft Speedrunner vs. 10 Hunters, a new video style created by popular Minecraft YouTuber Dream. Stay tuned and watch the video right till the end to learn what this speedrunner video is all about and what makes drama so good at this. Before we start the video, please make sure to subscribe to our channel, also turn on the bell for the latest notifications and updates, and make sure you never miss another Minecraft video. With that out of the way, let's begin. Now, this game is quite challenging to play. The game requires the authority of the landscape as well as the capacity to think quickly on your feet, while various decisions introduce themselves with just milliseconds of time for dynamic. This is something that Dream is acceptable at for split-second dynamics. Rather than the past games, One Hunter, the Minecraft Manhunt presently brings a sum of 10 unique hunters to conflict with the speedrunner. These tracks are played by other YouTubers known as Ant Frost, Bad Boy Halo, George, and furthermore, Sapnap. Dream really played another round of one speedrunner vs. 10 hunters back in September and the video has gotten a considerable amount of perspective too. It seems like his 1 vs. 10 is substantially more testing than 1 on 1 or 1 vs. 4, another video which Dream has gained immense popularity for. So what is Minecraft speedrunner? A speedrun is a playthrough of a computer game performed with the goal of finishing it as quickly as could reasonably be expected. Speedruns may cover an entire game or a choice to park, for example, finishing all accomplishments, progressions, or murdering a specific chief. Players endeavor speedruns primarily to challenge themselves and to engage and contend with others. For experienced Minecraft players, speedruns add another test and some of the time disregard or undercut set up game standards, for example, failing to dig straight down. 10 Hunters The Hunters are based on the anime Hunter Chanter, set in the ninja-propelled place where there is Kamura Village. Investigate lavish environments and fight fearsome beasts to turn into a definite tracker. It's been 50 years since the last catastrophe stuck, yet an unnerving new beast has raised its head and taken steps to dive the land into disarray by and by. The game requires you to go solo or in a gathering with companions to procure rewards that you can use to create a colossal assortment of weapons and covering. Fresh out of the plastic new interactivity frameworks, for example, the high-flying wire action and your canine buddy Palamute will add energizing new layers to the all-around vigorous battle that Monster Hunter is known for. So what are the things that make Dream so great at Minecraft Manhunt? Continuously look forward. Dream figures out how to look route ahead into the skyline, ensuring that there isn't anything that would possibly obstruct him and cause him to lose later on. He realizes the number of squares he would hop and at that what time they should be executed. That kind of accuracy actually takes some preparation. However, once you become acclaimed to it, no square can push you back. 2. Plan Courses Try to design your courses out. Prairies clearly give the hunters a chance of making up for lost time, yet give you a breeder from bouncing while mountains may possibly obstruct you, yet could likewise impede the hunters. Make it a point to not lead a pursuit straightforwardly downwards, as hunters could avoid a couple of steps and hop straightforwardly down. Number 3. Utilize Territories As referenced before, mountains can be dangerous, yet in addition offer you a decent price. The issue is going down. Never go straightforwardly down in a particular line, yet attempt to zest things up a short time going further from what the hunters. Another model is precipices and edges. These may be for somewhat dangerous, yet in case you're directly about to hop, the hunters won't have the option to get you. Number 4. Face Challenges Like bouncing downwards, the hazard is in every case part of the game. The more hazardous the move, the more gainful it will very well may be for the speedrunner. Obviously, never face challenges you know are too large to deal with. Since it's difficult to retreat from a bounce, what you can do is go sidewards. Dream follows all the points we mentioned above and this is the main reason why he is so good at speedruns. It is no surprise people get suspicious about his achievements, but if you see clearly, you can easily achieve what he has achieved. Obviously, though he puts in all his efforts while playing Minecraft speedruns. And with that, we wrapped up this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.